Deep inside a research facility in Moscow, six men have been sealed within a series of chambers for more than 15 weeks. Running for a total of 520 days, the Mars 500 study is the first ever full duration simulation of a mission to Mars and has been designed to mimic conditions on board a spacecraft bound for the Red Planet. Two of the participants have been selected by the European Space Agency, ESA. Romain Charles from France and the Colombian-born Diego Ubina from Italy have now beaten the record of 105 days spent in the Mars 500 simulator during a study last year. But they still have most of their stay left to endure with almost four-fifths of the experiment still ahead of them. It's been a long time and I think the, the guys of the other crew of the 105, the crew, uh, Cyril and Oliver and, and the other guys, were by, by this moment they should have been most, they must have been very excited and, uh, and looking forward to go out in, a, in any, at any minute. So we, we, on the contrary, we don't have that, that luxury so we just have to keep, uh, try to keep our mind as steady as possible uh, through the whole process, uh, being aware that it's going to be a, a very long time. It's difficult to think that in one year we will still be here in the modules, but we took every day as, um, as a new one, a new challenge, and we tried to make the best, uh, um, uh, take the best part of it every day. It worked for 105 days, it should work for the 400 uh, days left, no problem. Mars 500 is being carried out by Russia's Institute of Biomedical Problems, with extensive participation by ESA and scientists across Europe. By demonstrating the physical and psychological demands of long-term isolation, which include a restricted diet, reduced sleep quality and hormonal effects, it will give scientists and engineers the experience they need to design future manned missions to Mars and the Moon. The isolation facility is made up of four interconnected modules, hermetically sealed from the outside world with its own air and ventilation system. A fifth module simulates the Martian surface. The so-called Marsonauts each have a separate small sleeping chamber and there is a communal living room. The 550 cubic meter facility also houses laboratories, a gym, a medical unit and an experimental greenhouse. The 520-day study will incorporate the various phases of a Mars mission, and the facility is divided to replicate the experience of a separate transport vehicle and landing module. Halfway through their mission, the crew will be divided into two groups, and one will land on a simulated Mars to perform surface operations. During their stay, They'll also perform a series of experiments to test the responses of the human body to long-term confinement. The participants in the Mars 500 program have been chosen from a wide range of professional backgrounds. They'll work together to be totally self-sufficient, taking responsibility for all maintenance and life support operations. As with a real interplanetary mission, they will have contact with friends and family, as well as the ground support team. They'll have to deal with a number of mock emergency situations, in addition to coping with the many demands of prolonged isolation. The most difficult thing is, is the food. I mean, the food is good, but we have a very strict diet and we can't choose what we want to eat, when we want to eat. So sometimes um, I feel like eating some kind of you know, big hamburger or anything different, but I have to stick with, uh, with the menu. Astronauts on board the International Space Station now regularly stay in orbit for six months at a time. This has led to a great deal of data about the effects of microgravity and the space environment on the human body. When the Mars 500 study ends in November 2011, the effects of long-term confinement will also be better understood taking ESA further towards its long-term goals of human space exploration.